This is Vivian checking in with you. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I spent the last an hour or so looking for something that has weather and news on one page. Real-time weather and real-time news um, so that I could cast that to my Chromecast. Initially, I was looking for like something like this. Immerse, which is actually a really cool app that with a cool web page that you can just click this Chromecast button and it'll cast the weather to your TV. I'll, I'll put a picture of, of how that looks on the TV um, right here in a minute. But the problem with that is that there's no real-time news, so I don't know what's going on in the world. Um, I want to be able to put some cool stuff on my TV as I just let it sit there in my office as I walk by it. People come over, you know, just have something on the television that's kind of kid friendly but entertaining and mostly the weather because I like to know what the weather's going to be today and tomorrow and the next day. So that's where this whole idea came from. I got obsessed with it, which doesn't take a lot. But in looking for RSS feeds, I was just going to build a web page myself, but then I saw that um, you could use my Yahoo. Uh, something struck me. I don't know what it was. I think it was an RSS feed that said, yeah, use my Yahoo. Um, and I remembered my Yahoo, so I clicked my Yahoo and I remembered that I had done this a long time ago. The cool thing with this is you can make different tabs. So right now this is called my best Yahoo tab, but there's also, look, my job RSS feed. So I have RSS feeds here of jobs. And so these are just searches that show up in this box. And maybe you want to cast this to your TV, uh, you know, so pretty cool stuff. This then is my front page. So you can even add tabs. So I can add something new here. You know? Click add and you can create your own new tab. Oh, she's going slow here. Yeah, delete my tab. So you can delete them. You can, oh. Can add them. Which is pretty cool. So and you can do that. Add delete tabs. The, and the other cool thing is you can choose themes. You can edit your layout. But what I really like is just being able to pick these up and move them around. You know, like Android, I want to move you over here. So, because um, obviously the, the, the screen only takes so many up top, and the TV will only project these three, um, only cast these three, so you want the three most important up top. So you can move them around. You can also delete them. Click the little button here to move. Uh, yep, I don't care about that. I don't care about this. You know, just cool stuff like that. You can have your mail. So let's say you <clears throat> want to put your mail up here. That's your Yahoo mail. You can put your mail up there. Just really cool stuff. Um, and here you go. This is how it looks on the television. Pretty cool. So if you think can think of any other easy ways to, to be able to put weather and news up on your TV real quickly, let me know. But, oh, real quick before we shut out, you can add content. So look, oh, horoscope. I love horoscope. But let's add horoscope. So maybe that's another tab, right? Like I had another tab and this horoscope. There's horoscopes right up top. It goes right at the top. So look, you can change it. Make it, I'm a Scorpio, change this to Scorpio. Nice. So now I can see my, my horoscope for the day. It casts that out to the TV. And here's, a, here's my scoreboard. If you, you put your teams here, right? And you can do that too. So I got there from add content. So... Pretty neat. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because it took me a while to figure out how to do this. And that's it. So this is how you take your weather, your news, any piece of information you want in one screen and the, and send it up to cast it up to your Chromecast. Because um, now I have this cast and I can cast it to my Chromecast. You guys know how to do that, right? You know you need Chromecast. It's actually already casting, which I already showed you, but I just wanted to show you that. And when I cast it, it only shows um, from my Yahoo 
all the way down. It doesn't show my browser tab. So, like you, see, like you saw. Thank you very much for watching. And let me know if any other cool ways you, you guys can do this. Um, enjoy. Have fun. Thank you for watching. Oh, and also wanted to add that when you do have this on, when you do cast this to the TV, everything's still, um, the, as you notice, there's nothing moving. So if you leave this all day on the screen, depending on time of TV you have, you may burn the image into the screen. I know definitely plasma TVs, it can happen to um, some CRT TVs and LCDs. It can still happen, though it's much rarer, but you can still burn the image in when and you know when something sits on the screen for a long period of time. So, with that said, I found a plugin called Auto Refresh. I'm using Chrome. So if you go to Auto Refresh, you download that, and then refresh the page. It's just super cool here. What happens is this little blue button shows up, and then you can set how much time you want the page to refresh. So I just want to show you real quick. This is so cool. All right, I'm gonna set it for every five seconds, and then you can see. And you can see the countdown, and now my TV, the page is going to refresh, and the TV refreshes, which means no burned-in image. Very cool. So obviously, every five seconds is kind of weird. You don't want to do that, so I'm going to set it to, hello. I'm going to change it, and I'm going to probably just do, like, every 15 minutes. Um, so I just wanted to show that to you. This, that's how you do it. Uh, very cool stuff. Uh, thanks for watching and enjoy. Bye.